I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Understanding Strategies to Solve Word Problems. Here we have an excellent question which is based on work and time. Three persons working for different times. A, B and C complete a job in 15, 20 and 30 days respectively. They worked together for some time after which C left. A total of $5,400 is paid for the work and B gets $1,800 more than C. For how many days did A work? So you can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin with the amount given to each. That will give us the ratio in which A, B and C work, right? So it's given that total is one is $5,400, right? So this $5,400 is dollars total. B gets $1,800 more than C. So C plus $1,800 is what B gets. A will also get the same. So C plus $1,800 for A and C gets C. Let this be the C amount, right? So that basically means we have $5,400 uh, this we wrote for B, this we wrote for A, and this we wrote for C, correct? So when you add them up, we get 3C plus 3600. So we have 5400 minus 3600, okay? 5400 minus 3600 equals to 3C. Now that is... 14 take away this is 8 and then we have 1800 with 3C that means C got 1800 by 3 which is 600 right so the amounts for A, B and C is what so amounts for A, B and C basically are 1800 more than 6 will give us 2400 right Now, what does that say? That says that if C worked for, let us say, X days, 600, they got four times. They worked for four X days. So from here, we get kind of ratio for which A, B and C worked, right? So that is one thing. Now. It says a, A can complete the job in 15 days, B can do it in 20, C can do it in 30 days. So if we go with our method on rate, which I have explained in one of our videos, so we'll go with the rate method first, right? So as far as the rates are concerned, we know the rate is 15, 20 and 30 respectively, and those are the number of days. So we can say that as far as A is concerned, A is working for 4x, we don't know what x is, and the rate is 15. B is also working for 4x, the rate is 20. As far as C is concerned, it only works for x period of time, x number of days, and the rate is 30. Okay. And once they work together, they complete the job, right? Now, we could multiply everything by 60. So if I multiply everything by 60, then 60 is 4 times. So we get 4 times 4 is 16x, right? Here it is 3 times 60, right? So we get plus 3, 12x. Here it is 2 times, so we get 2x. So, so those are the values which we have to just add them up. So we get 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 6 is 10, 1. 1, 2, and 1 is 3. So we get 30x equals to 60. And so we get the value of x as equal to 60 divided by 30, which is 2. What are we trying to figure out? It says, how many days did A work? We want A work, right? So A worked for 4x days. So A worked for? 4 times 2, which is 8 days. 
So 8 is the right option. Is that clear to you? So that is how we could actually solve this particular question. Right? Now for this question, you could also adopt method 2. which is based on units, right? So as far as 15, 20, 30 is concerned, we'll consider 60 units total. Correct? So how many units per day? So units per day for A, B, C is what? For A, 60 divided by 15 is 4. For B, you divide this is 3 and for C it is 2. So, so many units per day, right? They are working, correct? Now, from here clearly, we can see total is how much? Total, when you add this up, when you add them, you get 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9 units, correct? So, what we are saying here is for X days, only total they work for x days right so we are saying for x days all of them work right so so what we have here is for x days a plus b plus c right so that means the units consumed was 9x and then for remaining 3x days only a and b work as far as A and B is concerned, the unit says 4 plus 3, which is 7. So it is 7 times 3, which is 21. Total units is 60, right? So we get what? We get 9x plus 21 equals to 60. Right? So, uh, uh, I mean, this is uh, 21x, right? Because... 3x, right? 21x. So when you add them up, you get 30x equals to 60 or x is equals to 60 over 30, which is 2. And we want total, right? So A worked here and there, both the places. Okay? So A worked for x units first along with everyone and then with B. So we get 4 times 2, which is 8 as our answer. Do you understand? So you could adopt any of these methods to solve your question, whichever you are familiar with or comfortable with, right? Both works perfectly fine, almost the same thing. So unit rate, straight away you can write down, right? Here the typical part was figuring out the ratio in which they work, right? Once you've done that, this is a standard method which you follow, right? So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Also share the questions with us. Thank you and all the best.